Hello, everyone. My name is Francisca Bonat. I'm uh, today's host of this talk. And with me is Satish Perry. And he is going to give a, a talk about resources to learn Nextflow. Uh, in the link, he also, uh, in the chat, he put a link for a uh, live slides. And um, from now, I give it uh, over to Satish. Thank you, Francisca. Um, so, uh, as uh, mentioned, we have pasted a link uh, to the live uh, presentation that you can follow along. Uh, I'm going to be sharing my screen as well. Okay, uh, so uh, today here, uh, I'm going to give you a walkthrough on all the resources that are currently available um, to get uh, a good handle on Nextflow workflow management system. Um, so to dive straight into it. Um, so if you're here, uh, some of the goals that you should be having are uh, to learn a simple syntax for writing pipelines that enable to, to reuse existing scripts and tools for fast prototyping, and also to develop self-contained pipelines, manage versions, and also to be able to reproduce any form of configuration on demand. Um, one of the uh, most useful resources was this blog post earlier uh, in uh, uh, earlier in the year um, that was very useful in in uh, uh, bringing together all the useful links that are available. Uh, but since then, uh, there have been a lot of developments. DSL two is now currently the default. Um, so we were wondering if we could um, give a more uh, curated list of resources that that are that are available uh, to learn nextflow uh, through self learning uh, so to before you dive into nextflow and nf core uh, some of the prerequisites that you uh, need to master are uh, uh, scripting languages uh, uh, bash programming um, uh, some experience with containers and software dependencies um, and also uh, uh, quite some uh, uh, experience with version control systems, uh, not only for version controlling, but also collaborating uh, with open source communities such as RF Core. Uh, here are some links. Uh, uh, there are enough links uh, on online uh, to help you uh, get up to speed. Uh, but here are some uh, some links that I have followed. So pretty much this presentation is going to be about uh, how I have learned Nextflow over the past year. So uh, I've been I'll be sharing links uh, that I have found useful throughout my journey. Um, so these are some of the links here uh, to get started on all the prerequisites that you might require uh, as you get are about to get started uh, for uh, to learning Nextflow. Um, so once you have those down. <coughs> Um, well, you are here because you want to learn Nextflow. Uh, Nextflow enables scalable and reproducible scientific workflows using software containers. Uh, it allows the adaptation of pipelines written in most common uh, scripting languages, and it's fluent domain-specific language. Uh, currently, in its uh, version two of evolution, uh, simplifies the implementation and deployment of complex parallel and reactive workflows on cloud and hybrid uh, environments. Uh, the core features of Nextflow um, that should interest bioinformaticians is enables workflow portability and reproducibility, simplify parallelization and large-scale deployment, easily integrate existing tools, systems, and industry standards. Um, so these are like you know just some of the features. You know, if you're a complete cool. beginner, uh, I have here linked two uh, video uh, links that are like you know. Uh, give an overview of uh, NF Core and Xflow and also some of the details of uh, why uh, uh, NF Core uh, or Nextflow stands out in comparison to other workflow management systems. Um, so I have just uh, I would recommend if you're a complete beginner to uh, go over these videos as well. Uh, but once you're through, uh, we are talking about like you know you might already have uh, introduction to Nextflow. So but I want to like completely uh, um, uh, go through the nuts and bolts of uh, and, uh, and learn the whole syntax. Um, so uh, here we are recommending uh, the courses for you here. So currently we have, uh, or we, 
because now that GSL2 syntax is, is default, uh, we would like to transition most of the courses uh, to DSL2 syntax as well. So in that aspect, uh, we are recommending three courses here. Uh, one uh, is the Nextflow Tutorial Variant Calling Edition that was developed by myself and colleagues uh, at CDC. Um, so this particular uh, 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 workshop uh, content um, was developed uh, so that it uh, it explains the concepts through uh, a variant calling workflow uh, example. Um, so I'll, I'll I'll briefly walk you through the contents. Uh, uh, on how it has been divided for this particular workshop that we have developed. Um, so it starts off with introduction to NextFlow, uh, and then we dive right into introduction to NF Core, uh, with the main aspect being that we wanted to uh, tell participants not to reinvent the wheel in writing pipelines. Uh, and it was a great, and introduction to NF Core is also a great way of introducing how to run NextFlow pipelines uh, straight out of the box. Um, and also to show how it, they can be done on uh, local on-prem HPC clusters. Um, so we introduce uh, through these uh, 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 sessions here, and then we dive into the, uh, the details or uh, start with the syntax of, uh, 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 of Nextflow, then uh, get into the details of channels, processes, workflows, and operators. Um, and finally, we give a challenge uh, of converting a bash script of a variant calling uh, workflow into uh, into Nextflow processes. And finally, uh, we uh, show how uh, or the workflow uh, the content will uh, will um, progress into uh, modularizing all of the processes that are involved in the variant calling workflow. And also, uh, towards the end uh, is where uh, we also have introduced a chapter on assembling the variant calling workflow now using NF core modules. Uh, so previously we show how you can develop your own local uh, modules, uh, but uh, we also show how uh, the same process can be done using NF core modules. Um, so it, it, it comes as a full circle towards the end. Um, so this uh, session, uh, we have designed it for like nine hours and it has worked out pretty well uh, in training. Uh, the next um, uh, course that we would recommend is the Software Carpentry RNA-Seq uh, uh, workshop content that is currently still being developed. Uh, it's in the pre-alpha stages, but uh, it's a great resource uh, as it uh, has more exercises. Uh, and also it deals with an RNA-seq example uh, versus the variant calling example that we have previously uh, dealt with. Um, and then we have the official uh, training material from the Secure Labs as well. Um, um, this is a much more organized and um, uh, directly from uh, Secure Labs, uh, but they're still in transition to uh, move from the DSL-1 examples uh, as employed in the current version to uh, DSL-2. Um, so there'll be uh, updates uh, uh, soon to look forward here. So uh, all these courses we have, we uh, are trying to offer uh, uh, students to use uh, Gitpod environments. Uh, Gitpod uh, is an open source developer platform that quickly spins up a virtual environment uh, from a Git repository, and it can uh, it, uh, you can have it pre-installed with software such as Nextflow, Conda. Uh, and Docker also pre-installed. Um, and uh, uh, the courses that I have just shown you, or at least the variant calling workflow and the Secure Labs uh, uh, training material, uh, all of them can be opened in Gitpod. I uh, have the links uh, uh, are accessible in the set of pages. Um, and um, the workshop uh, can be uh, followed uh, in the uh, Gitpod environment. Um, so, uh, that should be like, you know, um, running, uh, spinning up a Gitpod environment and walking through the tutorials there um, um, at your own pace should give you a head start. Um, now, the next things that you, uh, uh, you should be uh, had bookmarking for handy access are the documentation links. Now, these are the uh, uh, pages that are like definitive in terms of um, uh, uh, 
the, the changes or the processes uh, associated with NextFlow or NF Core. Uh, so these should be your go-to docs um, uh, at any time uh, for anything definitive about uh, NextFlow and NF Core. Um, so bookmarking these uh, is a thing. Uh, so at this point, you might be uh, uh, at the stage where you say, okay, I know NextFlow uh, and I'm ready <laughs> to take it on the fright. Uh, so uh, this is where you uh, next point is to introduce yourself to the community, uh, the NF Core community, uh, where you'll find a lot more um, uh, uh, talented and expert people. Um, and NF Core is this community that's built around uh, uh, Nextflow uh, workflow uh, language uh, to build a, a set of curated peer reviewed best practice pipelines. Um, so, uh, and uh, and of course, uh, pipelines adhere to strict guidelines. So if one of them works, all of them will. Um, and all these features make NF Core pipelines, uh, even if you're not a developer, if you just want to use the NF Core pipeline straight out of the box, um, these features uh, absolutely make it uh, possible. Uh, so in your next step of journey, once you've finished the courses, uh, uh, a lot of time, uh, uh, we would recommend spending and looking over at NF Core available pipelines, uh, the uh, the uh, NF Core uh, modules uh, that have been uh, recently been integrated into the web page itself, um, and also to look at the NF Core tools that are available if you're interested uh, to develop your own pipeline future. Um, and uh, throughout, as you're going, also a great resource, uh, just like this bite-sized talk, is our uh, other bite-sized talks uh, pertaining to any specific topic. Uh, now, there is a YouTube list. Uh, so as you uh, uh, go through uh, different course materials, you might want to check out uh, those specific videos uh, associated. Uh, but do uh, keep in mind, uh, or you want to uh, make sure that you are um, uh, looking at videos with the transition to DSL2 in mind. Uh, some of them um, uh, do uh, still have DSL1 syntax, uh, so just so that you know. The next uh, great resource um, that you, uh, you should be spending a lot of time, um, especially uh, getting in touch with the community is through uh, Nextflow and NF Core Slack channels. Uh, now, these are uh, an absolutely uh, great way of uh, connecting with people around the world um, and most importantly, learning from them. Um, so you will see uh, in, in the Slack channels, we have uh, different channels pertaining to different topics, uh, um, uh, one pertaining to modules uh, and request review just as an example here. Um, um, where um, you can actually ask questions. And more importantly, uh, for me, Slack has become a way of uh, uh, troubleshooting. Uh, so any error messages that I have, the first thing is I'm going and checking on the, uh, the uh, in the Slack workspace by searching for it. Um, and most of the time, somebody has already asked for it and there's, uh, um, solutions already recommended uh, from the community. Um, so uh, uh, Slack uh, uh, is a great way of like, you know, um, uh, learning a lot of things and also looking for help uh, in troubleshooting. Um, so the next little help channel uh, is a great uh, place uh, for asking help um, from everyone in the community. I mean, it's great that there are people from all over the world, all of the time zones that can help you at all times. So um, definitely uh, make use of this resource. And if at all you are in a capacity by the end where you have uh, uh, mastered the skills yourself, please uh, give back to the community. There, is, there are always uh, newcomers coming in um, and uh, it's always great uh, for uh, to have their questions answered by uh, somebody else in the community. Um, the next resource, uh, learning resource is GitHub. Um, uh, the GitHub review process uh, is, uh, um, it, it not only makes sure that the community uh, coding standards are added to, uh, but also uh, it's a great way of, uh, again, learning uh, the whole process uh, as you have experts from the NF Core, core team um, guiding you on uh, making sure all the standards are met to and also giving you uh, unique uh, solutions uh, 
Um, so uh, interaction through GitHub is also an important part um, as you are interacting with the NFCore community, um, just pouring over uh, the uh, existing um, GitHub repos of uh, NFCore pipelines and looking at the processes are great places to learn as you will start building your own pipelines. Um, so there's more to collaboration than you think. Uh, and um, one of the resources that I would recommend is the Turing Bay Guide for Collaboration um, uh, to, especially if you are new to GitHub and would like to know more about how uh, the review process works uh, and all that, you can find more information uh, through this guide. Um, so at this point, uh, you should be quite capable of uh, doing any of these things, especially one is to run the NF core pipeline straight out of the box, uh, especially if you're a facility and uh, if there's an NF core pipeline that fits your needs. Uh, is one is to use the NF core pipeline straight out of the box. Uh, second is to uh, run the NF core pipelines with some modifications. Uh, either you turn off some of the features or you add some um, uh, features or modules on your own uh, with some modifications uh, or create a, um, an, an entirely new pipeline uh, from scratch using the NF core template. Now using the NF core template gives the advantage of making sure that uh, it, they all uh, have the same structure as the other NF core pipelines. Uh, so you can then uh, uh, adapt a lot of pieces, especially modules and some workflows from other uh, NF core pipelines into your, into your templated pipeline that you're creating. Uh, so in that case, all you have to do uh, will be to basically shop for modules in NF core um, if, they if you have all the modules uh, available there or uh, either consider making one if it isn't there uh, so that you are giving back to the community as well and in most in some cases you'll still have local module lo you'll have to keep some local modules so um, uh, once you uh, plan all this you can um, just build your pipeline from the uh, ground up um, so uh, through open discussion and collaboration among the community it's possible to leverage the knowledge of experts across the world and uh, for the development of domain specific pipelines and implementation of current best practice analysis methods. Uh, this is from the NF Core Nature paper. And I truly think uh, these words uh, hold value and uh, I have seen it in practice. Uh, I have learned from uh, this community uh, a lot. So um, it is possible and we should keep doing this. Um, and just so that you know, uh, there's a new mentorships program being launched by uh, jointly by Nextflow and NF Core community. Um, they where they're hoping to organize uh, mentor and mentee pairs, uh, and especially reach uh, 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 groups, uh, underrepresented groups and areas uh, to improve uh, outreach. So uh, you'll find more details about this on the NF Core website. Um, they, uh, they, I think the current round is already done, but uh, they have uh, a couple more rounds coming as well. Uh, with that, um, I just want to say uh, thank you and welcome to the community. Um, um, this is pretty much my setup that you can see here, but I'm sure uh, many of you will resonate with that as well. Um, so this is currently my short uh, guide on uh, resources to learn Nextflow. Um, we'll soon have more improvements, but uh, um, we'll be back with those <laughs> again. But thank you so much, everyone. Uh, thank you very much. So I now open the floor for any questions. Um, either give a hand sign or uh, just uh, come in. <laughs> um, Okay, there doesn't seem to be any questions, then I would like to thank you again. Uh, for everyone who might have a question, uh, you can always go to the Slack channel, as we just discussed, um, and ask your question there. Um, and um, also, I would like to thank the Jan Zuckerberg Foundation, the initiative for, for funding of this. And um, I hope to see you all soon in Slack and GitHub and everywhere else. Thank you very much. Thank you all.